So as of late, I have been reviewing the Kanto U2 and the U4 and I have been very impressed with the whole entire Kanto speaker portfolio as they have always offered speakers that have great design, superb audio quality and features without breaking the bank. But I am not done yet because here comes the biggest of them all which is the Kanto U6. So let's find out why I think that this is the most versatile and the best value for money speaker in the range. Now the unboxing process was similar to the Kanto U4 where other than the speaker themselves, you'll find a user manual, the remote with the batteries, the power cord, the 16 feet speaker wire, a 6.5 feet AUX cable and 8 rubber feet. Now when it comes to the design and build as you've seen on the Kanto U2 and the U4 before this, the U6 continues the contemporary minimalist Kanto design language which I really loved. Now you may think that I am a fanboy but how can you not love the design as they look great with smooth rounded edges and beautiful finishing and variety of colours for you to choose from and yes I finally got the speakers with the right colour for me at least which is in white and this is the matte white version. Now if white isn't your thing then you can choose between the beautiful walnut, bamboo, matte black, gloss black, gloss white and gloss red. Now in terms of the size, the U6 looks identical to the U4, just bigger dimensionally and also sonically as well, where each cabinet measures at 6.9 by 10.7 by 8.1 inches with a weight of 5.2 kilograms for the left active cabinet and 4 kilograms for the right passive cabinet. Then on the front of each cabinet, you'll find a 1 inch silk dome tweeter and right below there is a high performance 5.25 inch Kevlar driver. Now keep in mind that the drivers are exposed without any protective covers or speaker grills so you may want to place them away from your furry pets <laughs> and kids as well. Then the left and the right cabinets looks identical except for the left powered unit you'll find a control knob and a circular sensor that has a status LED light similar to the Kanto U4. At the back you'll find a rear firing base reflex port for a better base response of course and also great connectivity options which I'll talk about in the next section. So as a quick summary, the Kanto U6 is a sweet looker and won't look like a total stranger on your desk, console table or even in your living room as part of your home entertainment system. Now when it comes to the Kanto U6 hardware and connectivity, here's where the Kanto U6 excels. Being a powered speaker, it integrates a class D amplifier that pumps out a total of 200 watts of peak power and it offers a wide frequency response of 50 Hz to 20 kHz plus minus 6 decibels. Now what's cool is there is also a built-in phono preamp for you to connect it to a turntable without having a separate phono preamp for your turntable setup. Now what's awesome is there is a built-in Bluetooth 4.0 wireless connectivity with Qualcomm AppTech support which lets you connect and stream high-res music from your smart devices as well. Now as for connectivity options at the back on the left active unit, you'll find the RCA inputs, the AUX input, the subwoofer output, the phono and line switch and a USB Type-A charging port below that. Well, unfortunately, this USB-A port is only for charging and you can't use it to connect it to your computer since there's no DAC so it is a bit of a missed opportunity over here. Then also you'll find the right channel output to connect to your right speakers and finally two optical inputs. Then as for the control knob on the front, other than the volume adjustments, this also acts as a source selector where you can push in to select inputs like RCA, AUX, Optical 1, Optical 2 and Bluetooth as well. Now complementing the convenient front facing control is this remote control that gives you further controls including functionality for power, pace, treble, volume controls and the transport keys as well. And this is something that I really got used to to a point that I really need to have the remote with me all the time. <laughs> Now when it comes to the performance and daily usage, I was generally impressed with the U4 and the U2 previously and in my humble opinion, this U6 is even better. 
It delivers a well-balanced sound with good separation of frequencies across. Now this trait is something that I really loved about the Kanto U6, making it suitable for most type of musical genres. Now the sound stage is wide and also centered at the same time with of course proper placement and I would recommend the speaker stands like the SP9 desktop stands for the optimal angle and height placement for a better audio listening experience. Now I also love how versatile the speakers were as it's not only perfect for your desk setup but also really great in your living room or in your bedroom as part of your home entertainment setup. Now with the 200 watts peak power, it will easily fill a room and the sound is fairly accurate as well. And by the way, Kanto recommends that this Kanto U6 be positioned at least 8 inches from the rear wall of your listening room. Now one thing that I've noticed about Kanto speakers in general, based on my music listening, is that how it is generally neutral in tonality with warm richness in the mid-range area. Because the mid-range is where the speakers really excel with clean tone and full body and the top end is smooth with refined minimal distortion. However, the Kanto U6 also handles low frequency very well compared to the previous generation speakers with clarity and clear separation of the frequencies without the muddiness in some competitor speakers. And I also found that if you like the added bass, but maybe not too much, just press the plus button on the base on the remote just about two notches to get that optimum or ideal listening experience as well. But if you're an ultimate bass lover though, you might want to add an external subwoofer to the mix where the Kanto Sub 8 would be a superb choice but of course you can always easily add any powered subwoofer of your choice. Now Bluetooth music listening is of course the convenient way to enjoy easy music consumption although true audiophiles will shake their heads in disagreement. Connecting your smartphone or the tablet to the U6 is pretty straightforward and works as well as the lossy format can deliver. Now Qualcomm's Aptex codec also makes things more listenable although limited to Android devices and the Apple lossless format isn't too bad either. Now while I know that doing a sound test wouldn't be the best ways for you to hear how the speaker sounds but still here it is so grab your best headphones. Coisas não vai se encaixar Se você se cobrar demais Te ensina a se enganar Que se enganar Então quando a coisa aperta Now in conclusion, I must say that I am very impressed with the Kanto U6 and I think what is important is that it makes me now love listening to music or even watching movies on my desktop setup even more. I love his clean, modern aesthetics, excellent build quality especially when it comes to the versatility, making it suitable for desk setup for your home or your office as well as inside your living room or even, as mentioned earlier, in your bedroom as well. Now Bluetooth connectivity as well as the Phono preamp built-in are big pluses adding to U6's long list of features. Now while the bass isn't its strongest feature but there's plenty of low-end performance for most people especially adding them in the remote as mentioned earlier. And out of the three Kanto powered bookshelf speakers, I must say that I love the Kanto U6 the most. And in my opinion, it offers the best value performance of the lot where the Kanto U6 starts from a price of 1950 ringgit, depending on the color that you choose. And it can be purchased from our friends at TechX Malaysia where the Sub 8 subwoofer is priced at 1550 ringgit, while the SP9 desktop speaker stands are priced at 350 ringgit per pair. And I'll leave all the links in the description below. So with this, do let me know what you think. Which one would you pick? The Kanto U2, the Kanto U4 or even the U6? Let me know in the comment section below. And do check out my reviews of the Kanto U4 over here and the U2 over here.